So in this tutorial, before we do anything, first things first, you go to your settings, wherever they are in your Android device, you go down to about phone, you go to software information, and at the build number, uh, pretty much most of the Androids are gonna have the same thing that says build number, click on it around seven times, enter your password right here, click done when it asks for password so now you have developer permission after that we go out of it we go down under about phone you will see developer options are on you click on that they're on we need to find usb debugging and usb debugging is going to be right here you click ok and at this point we go on with the rest of the tutorial, but make sure this one is activated first. Otherwise, nothing we're about to show in this video will work unless you have USB debugging on. Let's go on the tutorial itself. Have you wondered how can you get internet in an area that ISPs for some reason cannot serve you or they serve you some mediocre internet speeds? Let's say you're in a rural area. Or in some areas in cities, actually, that have really bad coverage from the main uh, ISPs. Well, let me show you. There's this uh, little software called PDNet Plus. Uh, we go to their site right here. It's uh, free for the Windows side. It's only the paid part on the uh, Android or Apple side. Well, we go to their site. I will leave a link on description for this site and this download. We go to the download Windows client app 5.23. It's uh, running right now. We download the software, click open to install the software, click yes to install the software. I accept the agreement. Next, next, next to the end. And PDA editor and install that says all that. And while it's installed the USB driver, you hit install at this point, as I'm gonna show you right now at this point, what to do with the phone side before you skip this USB. Now that we're done installing it on our uh, PC, we go to our Play Store in our phone in Android uh, exactly here. We go to Google Play Store and we search for PDA Net Plus, which should come up on top. You install this app and uh, you go back to the app itself. Now you open the app. And in here you have options. Usually I prefer to click this hide tether usage. So only needed for certain carriers, but it's better to leave it on. It has Wi-Fi hotspot, actually, that you could uh, use it as a hotspot, even though you don't have a paid hotspot with your carrier, but that doesn't matter. And you click uh, USB tether. When you click USB tether, in this case, it will connect to your computer and I'll show you the rest of it now on the PC. Now, as we saw the installation on the phone side, you plug the USB on your phone. You plug it to the computer. It plugs in. You click install. Click USB mode right here because USB, it's the best connection you can get for this mode. Uh, you can block Microsoft connections. I didn't really see any differences, but it doesn't matter at this point. We click finish, and on the bottom here, you see select to allow USB. On your phone, it will show you, as you see here shown on screen, to allow. You click always allow to this computer. Hit allow. You click continue here, and it says connecting to your USB. You click no here because I don't want to share it. And to show you that I am connected to this network, we go to network and inter uh, internet settings. We go from here. I'm connected to Amadeus, right? And let me disconnect my Wi-Fi right now. It's gone. I have no Wi-Fi connected. We go to uh, change adapter option since we want to show all the adapters. At this point, we have PDA broadband connections. I can disable all the rest so you don't think that I'm playing a trick on it. You see all the X's and everything else here, except PDA Net. PDA Net right now is giving me a connection. As you see, the speed is up to one gigabit per second, which is the connection speed internally right here. And uh, let's do a really quick speed test. Go to speed test. 
Net. We hit enter. And we wait for it. And uh, it will give... It's just a VPN. That's not my location. We hit go. And we wait for the results. Let's see if we have more than that mediocre under 5 megabit that most ISPs offer in this area. And as you see, the download is over 35, which usually I get up to 70 with this phone. But today is a little bit muddy outside <laughs> the skies. And let's see the upload. Look at the upload. Over 30, which especially if you're in a rural area that you have a really good cell phone connection, this will be extremely helpful. And uh, before I forget, this uh, software works independent from your carrier's uh, data that you might be buying from your carrier. That doesn't matter. You don't need to have tethering bought from your ISP. You don't need to have anything extra. Only the app itself installed on your computer and on your phone. And you're good to go. It runs on your main data that you have in your phone. Just make sure you have unlimited data internally on your device. It uses your device's data. Just make sure you have unlimited data. That's all it takes. And uh, that was PDA Net Plus. And I will drop the link again on the uh, description of this video. And next time I will show you there's another app that actually does, in my opinion, even better than PDA Net. Even better than PDA Net. To register PDA Net Plus, before I forget, you might want to buy, it's I think one time payment around nine bucks. FoxFi, as you see right here on top, FoxFi, or FoxFi, how you want to call it, and you're good to go forever. This is yours forever. You don't need to pay monthly fees or anything else. And with that said, I hope you learned something from this video, and we'll see you next time with the other app that's even better. And we have more videos to come. See ya.